All right, welcome back to the American Movie Podcast. This is your host, Matthew Benjamin. What's going on, everybody? I just watched Sandy Wexler with uh, Adam Sandler, and it's based, it looks like a roast, honestly, sort of down and out agent who has this weird assortment of random ventriloquists and clowns and daredevils, and he's this pretty much this liar and manipulator a little bit. Like, he's just, he's just trying to get by. Now, this was... Now, this was a little bit better than the previous movies Adam Sandler has done in the past 10 years. I really enjoyed um, Don't Mess With The Zohan. Now, I pronounce you Chuck and Larry. Those were like the last ones that were very good besides the animated feature uh, Hotel Transylvania. But the previous ones weren't that good, just like Jack and Jill. And he has done three with Netflix. It's The Mysterious Six, The Do-Over, and this one, uh, Sandy Wexler. This one was just okay for me out of, it was just okay. A lot of the jokes missed the mark. I wasn't, I didn't find myself laughing that much. It seemed like it was a two hour movie, but it was only an hour and a half because half of the jokes didn't hit very well with me. So it was just all right. If you want a newer Adam Sandler movie that's on Netflix that you want to watch, I would recommend the do-over over over this one. This one could have used a do-over. Now, this, that does not make this a bad show. It was just all right. There was a lot of actual like morbid parts. And one of, his, one of his clients gets a break, who's a ventriloquist. He gets a time slot on television because one of the clowns dr- drinks a whole bottle of scotch and then hangs himself. And it shows the clown shoes hanging from like the television. I was like, oh my God, what is this? So it was really, it was, it was kind of funny, but like, they just murdered a clown on Netflix. It was so fun. Like it, that part was like, what the hell? And then another part, um, he is he's hooking up with this lady, and this lady this lady has a um, husband who's like on his deathbed, and they're downstairs hooking up, and she's like, let's take it up to the bedroom. And this old man is on life support, and he's like staring at them while they're about ready to make love. And it's just like, oh my God, what are you doing? So like, that was some crazy parts where you're just like, whoa, you did not see it coming. Because it was just like this shot over, spoiler alert, to this guy who's on his last leg. So it was was pretty funny, but man, um, it was morbid. Like, it was like, oh wow. We're funny parts. Like, this wasn't a horrible show. If you like Adam Sandler, I reckon it's not, you're not going to be let down entirely by it. So, if you have Netflix and you've seen The Do Over, skip The Magnificent Six and watch this one. This one's pretty good. Super cute. Jennifer Hudson's in here and she did an amazing job. I forgot how beautiful she was. I do recommend this movie. There were some funny parts. I found myself outwardly laughing a couple times. I watched it by myself. So, it was okay. It was an okay Adam Sandler movie. It wasn't one of his best, but it's definitely better than the previous handful that he's done in the past 10 years. So I do recommend it. It's on Netflix. Don't have high expectations for outward laughter constantly. That's all. That's my recommendation on Netflix. Um, what are some recommendations that you have? Like I have, I'm trying to watch as much as I can, but what are some good shows that you're watching right now? I'd love to hear in the comments below. So if you could, please comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to go through a humongous assortment of videos on Netflix and recommend them or not recommend them. So a lot of good stuff to come. So if you could comment, like, and subscribe, uh, I would deeply appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time. Bye, 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 bye.